Alrighty then, my rule chums. It is I, Daniel. You may call me the Pop Culture Dude, and today, boy, we have some interesting Sonic Movie 2 news for you today. So, before we talk about the big news, let's recap ourselves. So, for the last couple of videos, I eventually just talk about the clapperboard for the sequel that we got a brand new cinematographer named Brandon Tross, but also the onset photos that they are currently filming in Vancouver with an ice cream truck, but also a car chase gunfire action sequence. And they said that James Marsden and Jim Carrey are supposed to show up, but uh, they're not supposed to be seen like on the onset photos. But what's really interesting is we see this police car. Yes, we see the Seattle police car, right? It does remind me of the Green Hills police car that we saw from the first movie. But you want to know what's interesting? I got to get props to the Tropical Zone CR for adding me on Twitter to show me the very first onset video to give us thoughts and what could the car chasing could be like in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Whoa, let's see that and it's the replay. So as I'm replaying the video, this definitely shows that this car chase scene is definitely more me, more like a bank heist, more like a car chase. And the fact that we see this big truck, I'm assuming it's kind of like a robbery that we see police cars literally chasing down through the streets. And I'm like, ooh, is this going to be some Sonic Adventure Speed Highway vibes or Radical Highway vibes? I don't even know. Or I don't know, maybe Tom, like in the first Sonic movie, Tom Kelsey wants to move to San Francisco so he can be having a big city cop so he can just save lives where he just feels like he doesn't matter in the town of Green Hills. What if Tom Bukowski actually has that job to eventually decide to work for San Francisco to chase down real life criminals who risk himself in danger? Or this could be, <laughs> this is a funny theory. What if it's Dr. Robotnik riding inside the truck and just go by rock on his ass? <laughs> Come on, cheer up. Just imagine him just stealing a truck and then the cops have to chase after him. Or it could be Sonic and Tails eventually try to steal a truck as they're being tracked. I don't know. I'm just getting over analyzing for this one scene. But other than that, this police car chase scene is just so cool. And now I'm just very curious. I'm like, wait a minute. There's a couple more onset photos that definitely shows why the roads were blocked in the first place. This source from Wine Society Gals decided to post, last night's notorial scene, Brightly Lit Street, is ready for action in Sonic Movie 2. And it's the exact same onset photos that I covered from the last video with the ice cream truck and the hot dog stand. But I definitely tell that this car chase scene takes place in the night and the fact that they put like extra lighting for it just to claim for more brightness down to the street during the set but there's also a couple more photos that i found here and as for the next username name rod leyland decided to put at what's filming side red energy films taking up three blocks of cordova this morning sonic 2 right i mean i remember from the last video tales channel did say that they are going to film scenes in cordova by these specific streets right and we definitely see a full shot of a crane which is basically showing a wide shot of the street and this photo definitely reminds me of the daylight scene of for where the ice cream truck is taking place at and they definitely cover the tents so it's definitely a good connection that they said that they'll be filming from thursday night and friday night as they're still getting prepared for more scenes at the exact same setting of the city. Until Ron decided to post some more onset foes by at what's filming, more Sonic 2 as people seem stoked, and we could definitely see that they're blocking the streets on purpose so they could film more scenes. And we could definitely see Hornaby Street like what Tails Channel promised by the ice cream truck. Even this wide shot that we see by this highway road that's like filled with a bunch of trucks, this is definitely reminding me of the drone shots that they filmed from the first movie, which they also feature a police car as a prop, you know, the scene where Robotnik chased Sonic down the street of San Francisco, since it is the exact same street that they actually filmed from the first movie, but this time it actually has a police car chasing scene, and that makes it a lot more interesting. And there's even, like, more onset photos of the same ice cream truck that's definitely, like, shot in the daylight more clearly. So we're back with this photo that shows the popcorn sand, ice cream truck, and a hot dog cart, but also we even get to see the sign that says 23rd Annual Night Market, which is pretty ironic. I'm hoping it's the Sonic Pop Squad a fun easter egg i mean if crazy carl could do it with the sanic meme why not the popsicle or to make things even more insane how about we name the scene sonic 2 robotnik beats the shit out of tom thank you mr wachowski you <sighs> you you mother 
Oh, hi, Eggman! You come back here! And that's the origin of how the police car chase scene happened. I'm just kidding. That's just a fan fictional of drawings that I eventually just saw online. And I think that will be just pretty quirky in a way. But other than that, that was the very first onset video that we ever got for the Sonic movie sequel, but as well for the police car chasing. Definitely got me more excited, so I'll definitely be keep up to update for any Sonic Movie 2 onset videos, or even photos as well, because that will be pretty lucky if we have the chance to. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye then.